Hello, Good Shepherd and St. Francis and John. I'm Father Lin Nguyen with St. Francis and John Paris. This week, we prepare with the Gospel message for the 24th Sunday of Ordinary Time. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke. Tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to listen to Jesus, but the Pharisees and scribes began to complain, saying, This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. So to them he addressed this parable. What man among you, having a hundred sheep, and losing one of them, would not leave the ninety-nine in the desert, and go after the lost sheep until he finds it? And when he does find it, he set it on his shoulders with great joy, and upon his arrival home, he called to gather his friends and neighbors and say to them, Rejoice with me, because I have found my lost sheep. I tell you in just the same way, there will be more joy in heaven over the one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous people who have no need of repentance. Or what woman having ten coins and losing one, would not light a lamp and swept the house, searching carefully until she finds it. And when she does find it, she calls together her friends and neighbors and say to them, Rejoice with me, because I have found the coin that I lost. In just the same way, I tell you, there will be rejoicing among the angels of God over one sinner who repents. Friend, do you ever try to find an insignificant item that you lost, yet you determine to find it and will not be happy until you find it? I have. The other day, I lost a pair of my reading glasses, and I determined to find it, yet knowing I have several pairs that I can use. I turned my place upside down and will not be happy until I find it. Well, I finally seek the help of St. Anthony, and he did help. Such a great feeling when I found it. See. The two parables that Jesus used today of the lost coin and the lost sheep, which are very insignificant comparing to the other 99s that are being secured to convey the madness of God's love toward us. Jesus' passion of death and resurrection is the pure sign of that craziness love which God has done in seeking our little minute soul. Our Christian faith is responding to this craziness love of God. It is in this awareness we live in a compelling hope to love with each other through act of forgiveness and offer mercy. Like Jesus has said, be compassionate like your Father is compassionate. In the society where we dwell on finding faults on each other, Jesus is calling to look at God's mercy on us and do that, do that same field, same thing. And Jesus has said, love one another as God has loved us. Let us be aware of this awesome truth and exercise our Christian duty to witness this good news to everyone we encounter. Here is a family activity. Jesus Christ is always calling us to be the right relationship with God. As humans, we all make mistakes from time to time that cause our relationship with God, but His love is always calling us to repent and do better. Each family member should talk about a time when they made a mistake, apologized, and then will show mercy. What did you do? Or what should you have done that you did not? Did you apologize? Who showed your mercy? 
Was it a family member, a friend, a teacher, or maybe your boss? Were there others who did not offer you mercy? How does it feel when others won't let go of your past mistakes? Now think about others who were lost. They made serious mistakes, maybe an aunt or uncle, a cousin or grandparent, a classmate or co-worker. Did they apologize? Have you offered them mercy? We rejoice when we find lost money or a lost animal. How much more should we rejoice when a brother or sister returns? God bless and see you at Mass.